Hello ladies and gents, my name is Nexus and welcome back to Final Fantasy 3. We are going in this tower now. If you didn't want, well, I'm going to assume you watched last episode. We are going to turn in the toads, hopefully. After we deal with, I don't remember what the name of these are. I thought they were imps, but they're like dar dirty or something. Fair Darid. Far Darid. I don't know. I was close. By close, I mean not at all. Can't just name them Red Imps and make it easy on my brain. Okay, side note, Ark does a shit. Holy shit. These, are their defense just that bad? Are their defense just that bad? Is their defense just that bad? Grammar is very hard because I am a retard. Okay, that was very insensitive. Sorry. I shouldn't diss myself like that. I just, I hate when I make grammatical errors of that nature. So incredibly stupid. Um, okay, so we want to cast Toad on all of us. Okay, we should be Ribbit Ribbits, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, we're actually purple. Hold on. Who's the Toad following us? Oh, that's Dash. Okay. Then we picked up a companion. Can we untoad? I'm a bit limited by magic here. I don't know how much MP Ark actually has left. Oh, he's got enough. Well, let us untoad. Oh, it did. Okay, nice. Excellent. Okay, so we went from like a sewer type area to what looks like a clockwork tower almost. I welcome you to the Tower of Owen and your doom. Okay, that's ominous. He doesn't even know where it came from. I just noticed he has purple eyes as well. Yeah, it definitely went from like a sewer to a... Oh, look at the texture on those chains. Those are some nice looking chains. Okay, enough of that. But yeah, we're definitely like in a clock tower or something now. And by definitely, I mean probably. And by probably, I mean eh, most likely not. Okay, I can't walk across the... Oh, okay, I see. It's a bridge hanging over a pit of... Whatever. It's weird, because it looks like it's all on the same level. Like, it reminds me of whenever you're playing a 3DS game, and you turn the 3D on, 3D slider on, and you're like, oh, that's actually meant to be seen in 3D. Kind of what that looks like, if that makes any sense. Echo herbs. That's for silence, right? Yeah, okay, because I kept calling it echo screen. Up we go. So far, I haven't had any random encounters in this area at all. Okay, that definitely goes up. Need to check for secrets. Doesn't look like it. I know we're technically in the Tower of Owen. Look at those beautiful chains back there. I have no words for that. I, I don't understand that cutscene at all. I don't know how any... I, oh, we finally got a random encounter. Oh, it's a Zubat. No, uh, what is it? Bloodbat. And yeah, we'll get rid of the mage first. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go back there. Yeah, okay. I want to steal from the Bloodbat. Failed to steal anything. That doesn't mean they don't have any items, it just means I failed to steal. Usually if they don't have any items, well, it doesn't matter, she's gonna kill him. Raffia's gonna end their life. Usually if they don't have any items to steal, it'll actually say no items to steal from this enemy or something along those lines. Now I'm really curious of what it has. New, you're like the head of a Chinese dragon. How do we... An Augiski. Okay. Most random names ever. Can we get something better than a potion? That would just be fantastic. Hey, don't be doing that. Enough of that critical hit shit. 
Even crit hits actually don't do that much damage. Which is kind of funny, because at the beginning of this whole series, I said, uh... Hold on, uh... Hold that train of thought here. Nice. Okay. At the beginning of this series, I said that the, uh... I heard from the reviews that this game requires a lot of grinding. But so far, it's only been the one area where I've really had to grind. And we're a couple of hours into the game. I think about, what, five now, maybe? Maybe slightly under five, somewhere along those lines. I can't go off my Steam counter, because a lot of times I'll just leave the game up and running, even though I'm not playing. I have like 17 hours in the game, when I've only played like four. <laughs> Sometimes I'll just leave it on my computer running. With the intention of playing and recording, I never get to it, and it just runs half the day. Uh, gonna, ooh, there's gotta be some stuff back here, right? Right, 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 no, no. Okay, we got two options here. Okay, that triggered a cutscene, so this is probably the way we're supposed to go. You will never find your way through this place. What, you're gonna speak actual words now? Okay, so let's go this way. What was that? Like, I was trying to run up towards that pathway here. And there was an invisible wall there, so I was just pressing the A button. And, like, I guess I hit a switch or something. I don't, I don't know. Either that, or I stepped on a switch exactly when I was gonna press the A button. I'm really good. This layout's kind of weird. Oh wait, wait, no, no. Okay, rest in peace, Bloodbat. I wanted to steal from you still. I forgot our other attempt. Not that you're going to have anything useful, you're probably just going to have a potion or a status item, but it's at least worth checking. Okay. okay Echo Herb, so that goes up, so where does this... Random Encounters? Where does that other path that was going to the left lead to? So I thought that was the right path because it triggered that cutscene. Unless there's two paths that go upstairs. Which means we will be backtracking. Did I steal from the bat? I think I did. I wasn't paying attention to even what I got. If I wasn't paying attention, it didn't stick out to me. It was probably just a potion. Or it failed. I don't know. If we come across another one, I'll steal from it again. Okay, so I want to check out where this actually goes. It goes nowhere. Alright. Glad we did that. So, evidently, you're supposed to find that hidden switch that made no sense, that was just laying on the ground behind an invisible wall. I guess, it, I guess it's not that bad, considering you don't have a lot of room to walk around if you walk past the switch, which makes uh, you think you have to walk... I don't know. I guess eventually you would figure out you had to find a switch somewhere. I just happened to get lucky with it. Uh, Refia, I, I think we should probably check on your arrow count. I know she doesn't use close to an, as many arrows as I think she does, but... I just... I want to check anyway. Uh, equipment... Oh, okay, you are running low on iron arrows. Uh... We do... God damn it! Why can't you combine these? We got 28 iron arrows in the damn inventory, and then only 20... I'm sorry, I have 28 iron arrows equipped, 20 in the inventory, and I can't combine them into a stack of 48, which is fucking stupid. But we do have 38 pulley arrows, which do less damage. We have a bunch of other arrow types, but I can't use them yet for some reason. And I imagine it's because my job level's not high enough? I'm not really sure. Alright, upward we go. This area is pretty cool. I like the little t uh, clock tower type design. Uh, let's go to the right. Okay, let's go to the left. And I guess it doesn't matter which way we go. Hey, a preemptive strike. That's what I'm talking about. 
Hey, and we did Dash's health. They shouldn't even get an attack in, the enemies that are. Dead. Dead. Alright, easy peasy. Easy XP. Free XP, even. And Arc leveled up. That's always nice. Okay, that goes up, so we actually need to backtrack and go to the right path, because I imagine there's a chest or something there. Oh, two chests, actually. Echo Herbs and Bomb Fragment. So, if you missed the last episode, Bomb Fragment's pretty much the equivalent to Antarctic Wind, except it does fire damage. And we also found Arctic Wind, which is different from Antarctic Wind, except Arctic Wind does more damage than Antarctic Wind, which is really confusing to me because I always thought Antarctic was more extreme than Arctic. Oh, my life. My reality's been challenged, and I don't like it at all. I guarantee there's going to come a point where I use the wrong item, but... That's okay, because Arctic Wind was pretty strong to be- er, there, I just said- I just fucked it up right there. Antarctic Wind was actually pretty strong against the, uh, Genie Boss- or the- the Jin Boss. Pretty much one killed it, so I- I imagine Arctic Wind's pretty extreme. I think it actually says it powerful. Let me find it here. Let me sort, first of all, because my bank here is a mess. There it is. Deals ice damage, Antarctic Wind. Arctic Wind deals intense ice damage. I would expect the Antarctic Wind to deal intense or er, ice damage, but no. no. Looks like we're gonna take some damage here. You son of a bitch. That would really upset me if that affected Ingus at all. So, but it doesn't since he doesn't use magic, so he can stay silenced. Lemeth, you're, you're doing a little bit better with the damage. Ark is on point with those stabs, though. Usually white mages are pretty, uh, pretty useless when it comes to damage output. I'm actually very surprised. But that, that, uh, reinforces the idea that Luna needs to have a class change probably fairly soon, because his damage output is unacceptable, frankly. Because he was the one who was doing the most damage until I changed him to Thief, then he started doing the least amount of damage. Or the second, the second... Second least amount of damage? That doesn't make sense. The second lowest amount of damage opposed to Art, but then when I upgraded Art's weapons, he ended up doing more damage. Right or left? I'm gonna check right. Yep, good choice. Sonic Knuckle. <laughs> I know it makes sense, it just it reminds me of Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay, um. I oh, can't wear that. Oh, yeah, Knuckles are for, uh. for, um. Oh, what are they called? Monks. Monks. That's the word I was looking for. Knuckles are for monks, which is what Lunath will be, be becoming unless we unlock more classes. Because I need a damage output character for Lunath, because Thief is just not worth it at all. I like stealing items in Final Fantasy games, but not when you're stealing rubbish. Salaman's Sword. I imagine that's for Angus here. Yes, it is. Ark can't wear swords. He has to use daggers, which is another thing I don't like about the thief class. So we'll put... Uh, put him right there, I guess. Did I have two serpent swords on? I believe I did. Yeah, okay, I did. So we'll get a little bit of damage boost with Ark, or Angus now. Let me try and steal from this thing to make sure it's just crap. I'm sure it is. I'm like 99.9% .9 positive it's going to be a potion or something, but... It's worth checking, like I keep saying. I imagine steal's probably mainly for bosses. Usually bosses have some pretty good weapons or shit you can shoot. Shoot? You can shoot. You can steal. Words are extremely hard. Did I steal anything? I wasn't even paying attention again! God damn it! <laughs> I am so stupid. I cannot talk and think at the same time. That is not how my brain works. And throw in watching to see what item was stolen and my brain just melts down. So next time I try to steal something, I am just going to shut up and let it happen. 
Uh, I already have flight mail. Uh, mail is only for our warrior class. Okay, that's fine. Eh, at least we can sell some shit. But, oof. Was that a graphics glitch or was that something real there? The screen flashed red. I'm not the only one who saw that, right? Okay, I'm gonna steal, so no more talking. We'll talk about the red afterwards. Just a potion, okay. So the screen flashed red back there, and I'm wondering if that was a game glitch or that was actually something that did something. I'm imagining it was probably just a graphical anomaly, but we're gonna go back and look again just in case. In lots of levels, it'd be a shame if we died. Let's go ahead and heal up to be safe. Help. Let me... Oh, wait, nope. It did it again. What was that? Did we take damage? No, we took no damage. No MP's been drained. No st Oh, wait, what the... Is he cursed? Is that a... What is that? The skull beside that? Is that a curse? I don't know what that is. What is the skull? It's not poison, is it? Oh, it is poison, okay. So, there's a, uh... I don't... Is it Final Fantasy that has the curse status effect which kills you after a couple of turns? I don't know if that's from the Final Fantasy series or not. I think it is. I'm not positive, though. Zeus's Wrath. What is that? Deals lightning damage. <clears throat> so pretty much the same as the Antarctic Wind and a Bomb Fragment, except it does lightning damage. Okay, it works for me. Oh, we have a... Hello there, Medusa. <laughs> it is Medusa! Holy shit, I saw the snakes on her head, I'm like, uh, this broad looks like Medusa. Turns out it actually is Medusa. Alright, let's read. I, Medusa, will destroy this tower in the name of our Lord Zonde and plunge these lands into eternal darkness. Yeah, she sounds like that. Deal with. Oh, God. Hee hee hee! You cannot stop me, prepare to die! God, you are terrified! Oh, God, you're really terrified! What the fuck? Get out of here with that shit. Uh, I wish there was a analyze type command, so I can see what her weaknesses are. I just gotta kind of guess right now. I imagine it's Blizzard, but I'm not sure. Put you on guard. You know what? I bet she petrifies. We need to be ready for that. As soon as someone's petrified, we need to be on top of that right away. Oh, we got a high potion. That's new, at least. I don't know about that. See, that stair definitely petrifies, I guarantee it. I'm gonna steal again from her. Blind? Sleep? I don't think bosses are vulnerable to these. I'll try Thunder first. Why are you bent? Oh, because you're still silenced. That's okay. I'm gonna put you in guard still, Ark. We'll get Lunath healed up after this turn if he takes another hit. 182. Nothing to steal, okay. So, I think I can have Ark use some of those, uh... Okay, that needs fixed right now. Uh... Oh, silence. I did use that on Refia, right? I better double check. Yeah, okay. Refia. Uh, this turn I'll have her use, since she's silenced, I'll have her use the, uh, Zeus's Wrath. You, 
I'm going to heal up our or Lunith. See how much damage this actually does. 375, that's not too bad. So the bad news is, I don't think you can actually buy these items anywhere, the damaged items, because they are extremely OP, so there's limited, limited supply, and I don't want to use them all. But one per battle shouldn't be too bad. Okay, let's try Fyra. And if things start getting hairy in the battle, I can just st start spamming them. Do I need Cura yet? Uh, I don't think so. I think I can probably get away with uh, using Cura on everybody. Lunath, you are pathetic. 70 damage. I don't know how much this is actually going to heal. Okay, it's not bad. It did about around 70 for each person. This should do a ton of damage. Oh yeah. 423. Oh. Was that like a, uh, was that a rebound attack, or is that just, like, what she does? Is that just a normal attack for her? That I don't know the answer to. I'm gonna use normal attack on her for now. I imagine she's probably getting down on the HP. What I'm trying to say is I can't imagine she's got a lot of HP left. Maybe I'm wrong. That's why I need an analyze uh, command so I can actually check to see what kind of HP she has and uh, what her weaknesses are. Okay, we'll do that. We'll just keep doing what we're doing, I guess. Who did I just heal? I forgot I had the command set on memory. I think I just healed Lunath again when I meant to heal Ark. Oh no, I did heal myself. Okay, good. Oh, that damage was weak. What the hell was that, Repia? I'm kind of. I'm afraid to use Fire again, to be honest. I'm afraid she's gonna rebound attack. Dash, don't you dare take this kill from me. I want the sweet kill against her. Okay, we're good. Oh, that was definitely a crit. It's funny. Lunith's is, uh, Lunith crit is actually less than, uh, Ignis's base attack. Oh, okay. Okay, that fight wasn't too bad. So far, boss battles haven't been a big issue yet. 2600 gil for 20 XP. And uh, job level's going up a mound. Yeah, okay, got three job levels there. Was it just... Was it just... Was it just... Was it just... What I was trying to say was just adjusting my headset there. Refia says, Dash, don't get too close to fire. I think it's going to blow up. He's gonna sacrifice himself, isn't he? I finally remember... Everything. I'm the guardian of this tower, an ancient as you call us. I was asleep for a very long time. I was supposed to awaken when this tower was in danger. I guess I slept a bit too long. It took me forever to remember my task. The damage is extensive, but it's not too late. At this rate, the floating continent will flung uh, will be flung away from the sun. The negative effects on the inhabitants are unimaginable. I'll go inside and try to stabilize the tower. So, he's an ancient? Is that what they're called? Oh, he is gonna sacrifice himself. That's okay, because I don't really care about you, Dash. I know I'm supposed to. The music... Listen to the background music. Hear the dramatic effect? I'm supposed to care about Dash, but I don't. 
I thank you for everything you've done for me, and it was fun being with you guys. Dash, no! You're going to die if you go in there. This is my destiny. Go to the Dwarves Island. Have we already been to the Dwarves? I think we... No, that was the Vikings. I lied. Okay, so we haven't been to the Dwarves yet. That is where you'll find the power of fire. Dash. Oh, wait. <laughs> I read that wrong. I thought Dash was talking to him. So like, Dash, I won't forget you. Goodbye. No, Dash is saying, I won't forget you. Goodbye. And he's dead. Raphia. Dash! I Yow. Ouch. What the hell is that? Oh, that's Refia's hat. I'm like, what the thing? What the fuck is that blonde thing bobbing up and down? Luneth, we are on the SS Enterprise. Did Dash send us here? So, real talk, I didn't give a shit about Dash at all. I cared a lot more about Sarah and Sid than Dash. Dash was fucking annoying and useless. Ark, look! The Maelstrom's weakening. We can get out. Oh, okay, so the Whirlpool's gonna be gone. Alright, too legit to quit. They're carrying on. Without Dash. What a shame. We are in Dash's debt. Not really, he's dead. What debt does he have? How are we gonna repay him if he's dead? We must go onwards to the Dwarves' Island. Dash, please be safe. What the fuck? He's dead! How's he gonna... Or is he gonna come back later? It's possible. I guess I better save, too. Uh, it fully healed us up as well. Alright, let's just take a quick gander at the map here. Oh boy, we got a lot of places to go. So, if you look to the left where we're currently at, we're right... If you can't tell where we're at, we're at the little green ship that's about three squares down from the middle horizontally. And right left to us is the pink tower. Now, if you go from there... And look over to the left on the area where we sail. There's an island there, and I'm pretty sure that's where we need to go. However, we could sail past the island, most likely, or sail to the right and go the whole way to the right and down and see what's all around. Now, we already know around the edge of the continent, there's nothing. We took... Oh, oh excuse me. We took a chocobo around. So, I don't see much reason to go to the right as of now. So, I think we'll just head towards the Dwarf's Island. Uh, we have new enemies as well. Okay, so these mermaid and seahorse, not in gobble doodle gosh, or whatever the fuck they've been naming the enemies recently. It made no sense. These, these names make sense. I know what a mermaid is, I know what a seahorse is, and they both look like their corresponding names. I know, I said I would stop bitching about it, but I haven't. Who'd we steal from? The mermaid? Yeah. Just a potion. Come on, we're at the point where potions are becoming obsolete. You need to start giving us better items. I mean, potions only heal 50 HP. You know, it takes six of them to pretty much heal, full heal a character. Like I said, they're becoming pretty obsolete now. You need to start giving us better items. I probably should have stole from the seahorse, too. Well, goddamn, Luneth. That's like triple the damage you usually do. I know you crit, but that was kind of ridiculous. I didn't expect that out of you. That was badass. Mount's a little dry. I need some coffee. Uh, let me guess. These are Annette's. See, these names don't make any sense unless Annette's a type of fish I don't know about. Yuck. My coffee's cold. To be fair, it's 12.30 in the afternoon now, so... And I made the coffee around 7.30 in the morning. Usually I drink like... Wow, my voice is on the squeak today. Squeak, squeak! I usually drink about two mugs of coffee a day. When I first wake up, which is around between 7.30 and 8. And I drink another one at around 10 or 11. And that usually keeps me going for most of the day. Is anybody paying attention? What the hell did Art or uh, Lunith even steal? 
I wasn't paying attention again, because, you know, talking and watching is pretty hard for me. Lunathus? Why can't I say the word? Okay, I say the word Lunath, but when you make it possessive, like Lunathus is, I can't say it. Lunathus is Lunath's job level. There it is. Lunath's. 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 No, what? Nope. Nope. Let's go to the Island of Dwarves. We should just call him L. But then people get confused and be like, you're talking about Death Note. No. Death Note is one of the few animes I like, because I am not an anime fan at all. What was I doing? I was trying to look open the map. Look open the map, because that's a thing. I was trying to open the map. But, uh, let's save here. We're running kind of short on time. We have a little bit of time left, but if this is a full dungeon, I might cut the video. Let's take a look here. Oh, okay, no, this is actually a town. Dwarven Hollows. So, concerning Death Note... Laiho, we're a bit little, but we're in big trouble. I don't like anime. I know, crucify me. I just don't like it. There's two enemies I actually like. One is Steins Gate, and the other is Death Note. Once in a great while, I'll watch something different, but it usually doesn't keep my interest. I, I'm just not a big fan. But I thought Death Note was great. And, okay, to be fair, growing up was a different story. I love Dragon Ball. And Dragon Ball Z. I absolutely loved uh, Inuyasha. However, most modern animes, I, I can't stand. They have too, way too much fan service in them to appeal to me. Recently, the children have started to play farther and farther away from Ur. While I, surpri while I, surprise, while I praise their adventurous spirits, I worry that they will lead them to trouble. How is that my problem? How I met Mrs. Sid. <laughs> Mrs. I thought, okay, I have to say this. I always thought Sid was his first name in all the games. Is Sid his last Or is it just Sid? Like, he only has one name, so she's just Mrs. Sid because she doesn't. Sid doesn't have a last name. Hmm. Anyway, the first time I miss, met Mrs. Sid, she was a passenger on my airship. It was her love at first flight. Get it? Har, har, har. Okay, so I don't think those letters actually do anything. They're just for fun. Why is the camera... Oh, yeah, I zoomed in the camera. I don't know, zoom back out. Well, it doesn't actually change it that much. Gusto the road. He stole a horn. Smart he is, but a rascal too. The two horns made of ice. They're our treasure. Our, pre our precious. One of them was plundered and pilfered. Stolen by a scoundrel. It must be found. Is there any shops in here? Oh yeah, I'd say this is a shop. Let's go ahead and uh, take a peekaboo around to see if we can't steal anything from you. Doesn't look like it. Oh, hello, baby. You're all extremely expensive. And I can't use you, so you know what we do? We sell the shit we don't need, like a serpent sword, and the flame mail, and the sonic knuckles, and... Stole a robe, I guess, because I don't know who would wear that. Don't worry, we already tested. You can't sell stuff you're actually wearing. Which is a big concern for me, considering... I figured you could, since the, uh... Do we need to keep these two? Since the way items are organized isn't exactly the best. Okay, ice armor is... I need, well, yeah, I need one of those, because Ingus, you know, he has 20 defense, Ingus already has 21, so it's not going to do him any good. We'll buy one for Lunath. Ice Helm 10, I need two of those. Uh, nobody uses shields. Mage Robe is 13, Kenpo Gi, okay, that's it. I'll equip these. Oh, wait, that's right. Ice Helm. Sorry, mages, you don't get any armor. Mainly because you already have the best armor. Okay, this is probably the weapon shop, right? It is. It does 28 damage that is weaker than what Ingus actually has. Uh, a, a bell. 
Who would use a bell? That I don't have the answer to. Huh, that's strange. It wouldn't be a monk, would it? Maybe it's a red mage item. That's strange. Yeah, I'm not really too sure about the bell. I'm trying to think what class could use it. If, if it. Well, it has to be red mage or monk. Warriors of Light, did you ever know that out to sea far, far to the east is a peninsula with a village called Gyashal? Gyashal. Is that Gyashal? Gyashal. I don't know how you say that. Gyashal? Gyashal. Actually, I think it's Gyashal. That makes more sense. Okay, this is probably the inn. You look important. Let's talk to you. Let me give you a brief, brief description of your jobs. Warriors are weapon experts. Their advanced ability allows them to deal even more damage than normal. Side note, this would have been really fucking helpful before I had to look it up on my own. You know, like when you first get the classes. But they also hit a lot harder. White mages are casters who specialize in restorative magic. They're not physically strong, but their willpower is incomparable. I will disagree. Ark is actually doing as much damage as my thief. Black mages are casters who specialize in offensive magic. Despite their appearance, they can take a few hits too. Yeah, I noticed her. I didn't realize black mages had high defense, but I, I, uh, I realized Refia wasn't taking a lot of damage. Thieves are very fast and agile, and they can swing their weapons lightning fast. They also have the ability to pick locked doors. Oh yeah, that's right. I, I didn't even think about that. Thieves can open those locked doors. If I didn't have a thief, I wouldn't be able to raid that castle back there and get all those awesome items. So there's a benefit. It doesn't help me in battle, but it definitely helps outside of battle. Their steel ability allows them to take items from enemy, which is absolutely worthless because you keep getting potions over and over again. Also, everyone will take less damage while escaping if they use flee. Did not know that. Good to know. Oh, you're not going to tell me about red mages and monks? Because I'm not one? What if I want to change? Bastard. Uh, we have two vendors here. Yeah, okay, we'll rest. I actually probably didn't need to, consider I got healed out, healed, uh, healed up automatically after the Medusa fight, but whatever. Okay. Obviously, you are the basic item vendor. We still have some magic, or magic derp. We still have some uh, Geolith, so let's go ahead and buy ten of those. How many? Oh, about nine of those. Nineteen of those. Oh, high poach for sure. There's six hundred each, though. Okay, we have ten high potions. We'll keep those just in case. Okay, that's all the shops. There was a shiny tower to the north. After the earthquake, it was gone, and there's a big hole where it was. That might be a hint of where we need to go next. What's this? That rascal Gutsko made off with the Horn of Ice. He made us get away through the underground lake. We can't go after him because dwarves can't swim, but you're humans. Humans can swim. <laughs> you must aid us with your amphibious abilities. So I imagine this is the underground lake. Invisible wall blocked your path. Well, at least they tell you this time. Usually, invisible walls are just there to fucking be an annoyance. And they don't give you any description why they exist. This one does. It just straight up tells you there's an invisible wall here. Don't fuck around. Is this the... Uh... Okay, this is the lake. Can I get out of here? Oh, uh, we gotta be toadies again. Okay, so we need to be toads before we go in there. So this is the entrance to another dungeon. Before we go in there, let's go save. Well, let's actually make sure we didn't miss anything, which obviously we did. Stop! The Dwarven's treasure is up at... Oh, yep, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and steal everything. Running down the big long stairs. Uh... Well, that's the revival pull. Obviously, we can't get in there yet. Well, they're not going to let us steal their shit yet. I imagine that rock will move after we get back the ice horn. And this is the exit. 
Okay, fair enough. That was a nice little town in there. Got a few upgrades. Alright guys, next time we'll check out the underground lake after turning in the toads. And we'll see where that leads us if we're going after the ice horn. I had fun this episode. But as always guys, thank you very much for watching and I will see you soon.